Good evening and welcome back to Valley News Live at 10. Now we've been talking over the last couple of days for the chance of some strong and severe storms across the state. That is still in the forecast for later tonight, but right now the majority of the valley is seeing quiet, if not clear skies. It's a different story out in western North Dakota and through portions of western and central South Dakota, stretching all the way into portions of Nebraska, a line of some areas of strong and severe thunderstorms with damaging wind gusts and some hail being the primary threat. Now that the sun has set, that tornado warning has greatly decreased and that tornado watch that was in effect earlier today has been canceled. This is gradually moving to the east, but taking a look out west. Some heavy rain reported at times with these and lots of lightning headed up towards Underwood and down through Bismarck, but the heavy rain is needed. Here's a look at some rainfall rates over the last hour or so between an inch and two inches of rain per hour. And yes, even though it's with some stronger thunderstorms, they need the rain. It's been such a dry spring. Areas between Bismarck and Minot have been upgraded to an exceptional drought where you see the darker red shades and the majority of the state of North Dakota still in an extreme drought. So any rain is needed across the valley. We still are dry, not as dry out in western North Dakota, but let's time through your hour by hour forecast for when these thunderstorms are expected to move into the valley. So here we are by 10 o'clock, some stronger, if not a few severe thunderstorms now by midnight. These are fairly slow initially from Minot down through Bismarck. I don't expect them to move into the James River Valley down through Ellendale until between midnight and maybe 2 a.m. So we have several more hours of dry conditions and the stretches back up through midnight or through Minot by the 1 a.m. hour. As these continue to move to the east through the overnight hours, they kind of fall apart. They're moving into a more unfavorable environment to really withstand those strong and severe criteria. So they are going to fall apart. We'll just see a few scattered showers, if any thunder and lightning. I expect maybe an isolated stronger or severe storm through portions of Stutzman, Lemoore, and Dickey counties as this moves through. Maybe some heavier rain from time to time in northern Minnesota, where they already saw several inches of rain the other day. So maybe not a welcome sight in northern Minnesota as it is out west. But by early tomorrow morning, here we have this paused at five o'clock, some scattered light showers, and then the rest of our day looking like some sunshine and warmer temperatures. But your 24 hour rainfall potential, a couple inches possible out west. So very welcome news there. In your hourly planner for Fargo tomorrow, sunrise at 542. We'll start our day with mild temperatures in the 60s, but look at the wind. It's going to be out of the southwest tomorrow, sustained in the teens near 20 miles per hour, gusting to 30 near 40 miles per hour from time to time. Lots of sunshine in your afternoon hours. Temperatures warming into the low 80s before a sunset at 907. PM snapshot of your hometown forecast across the region. Lots of upper 70s and low 80s and a decent amount of sunshine as well. Nishay, the wind is going to stick with us for Monday and on Tuesday. And then we see a front move through on Tuesday from north to south. Could see a few showers across the north and then cooler temperatures in the 60s. Another chance of some showers on Thursday and yet another chance as we head into Memorial Weekend.